Kate Upton is the 2017 cover girl of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Um, have you seen the covers, and do you think she looks heavier than she has in the past? You know, I love the positive body images, and every time I say that people rip on me, that I'm, like, calling people fat or whatever, but everyone has a different body type, and I think it's great that for once we all get to celebrate everyone's different shape. Yeah, because I heard that statement, and, and I seriously, you, you weren't trying to throw any shots at her. No, it wasn't okay. a shade at all. No, yeah, I saw the TMZ thing, and people were giving me a hard time, like I was throwing shade at her. Which uh, Real Housewife is your least favorite? Lisa Renna, to me, always, like, finds her way in some kind of rabbit hole by, like, talking too much, or maybe she doesn't understand the way that she's phrasing things. But mm-hmm. this season, it's kind of seeming like she's um she's on the on the bad list, you know. She's not she's not doing a good job. She keeps talking and instead of shutting up. If you could date any celebrity or athlete, who would be on the top of your list? I don't know. I kind of have more girl crushes than I do guy crushes. But guy wise, I would date John. Why can't I think of his last name? I think it starts with an E. He's he's an old guy now. He's not playing anymore. He's a John, he's a, John Elway. Old, yes, there. Oh, John Elway. That's the yes. top of the list. Wow. By far, I think he's a gentleman. Yeah, at least he looks like one. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Now, yeah, I'm, is, going, I'm going retro. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's 56. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Um, perfect. Okay, that's the perfect age. For, who is your number one girl crush? Um, I'm obsessed with Erica Jane. Like I said, I think she okay. is amazing. Okay. So, but Erica Jane is, you would date her. Oh, be... by, yeah. She is a lady boss. She she okay. knows what she wants and she gets it. I like that. We have a new president in office. Uh, did you vote this election? And what are your thoughts on Donald Trump? I did not vote this election, but I I support Trump. I believe that he's going to, I mean, he's already done majority of the stuff that he says he was going to do, and he is our president, so whether people stand outside with picket signs saying he's not my president, like, like, newsflash, he is our president, so deal with it, and I think he's great. I I love Donald Trump. But you're living in California now, right? Yeah, so I don't love Donald Trump. (laughs) Are there a lot of people, like, picketing and protesting no, I mean, I see I see people doing it, and, but at the end of the day, I mean, he's our president, so I think it's a little bit of a waste of time. Um, I don't yeah. think he's really sitting in the Oval Office watching these people like, oh, man, you know, my confidence is down. Like, darn it. Like, I, I, just, I don't know. I think it's a waste of time. Do you support him building a wall to keep out illegal immigrants? To clarify, like, there is already a wall. So he's not building a wall. He's extending a wall. Um, and I think that's one thing that people are tripped out about. They're like, oh, he's building this wall. It's like, well, first of all, there is a wall already there. Do we want, like, radicalists coming into our country for free and just hopping on board with everything and killing us? Like, I, I, I don't want that. So I think I support it. What celebrity have you enjoyed meeting the least? I did work with Colin Kaepernick a couple of years ago, and... Yeah, that's the only one I can say that was actually kind of like a little weird to me, but um, super. What did Colin do that was kind of weird? There was like catering out, and like he couldn't eat like half the stuff on there because there was like a sauce on the chicken, and I was like, whoa, I got anxiety for a second. I was like, you can't even have the sauce. Like this is kind of like intense, but you know, <laughs> I get it for his job, but still, it was like a little sauce one day. It's not going to kill you, you know. <laughs> is he a little over the top with like? With what he eats like and he, staying yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I can't knock, like, I, I admire that. But for me, I was just like, whoa, like, that's a little, a little much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can eat the damn chicken and has, like, olive oil on it. You're going to be fine. Now, what do you think of him taking a knee and, and standing up, you know? Um, Personally, for... I think it's disrespectful. To get young kids in school not to say the Pledge of Allegiance and all of that is a little extra to me. Um and for me, I, don't, I just think it's really disrespectful. But I'm I'm an American. I was born and raised here, and I don't know. I'm just very proud to be an American, I guess. So to me, that's disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a bad example for kids. Yeah, I'm like, why are you bringing it to school? How do you feel about African-American 
you know, rights or just like I feel like everyone has the same rights. I don't know. I feel like everyone has the same rights. It's a state of mind. If you want to believe that you're being discriminated against, you can. Um, I don't think it's a color thing. I don't think it's a race thing. I don't think, I mean, are we back in like, are we, we're going backwards. It's so ridiculous. It's like, it's 2017. Like, everyone is accepted. Even illegal immigrants were accepted. So I don't understand why. I don't know. To me, it's just mind-boggling. Like the Black Lives Matter, stuff like that, do you feel like those I support those movies... it, but what about my white life? Like, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, back in the day, every color person was a slave at one point or another. Um, so, I don't, for me, I, I don't know. I believe everyone's life matters. I don't think we should say Black Lives Matter, White Lives Matter, Purple Lives Matter, or Cop Lives Matter. She, she don't really think that there's discrimination. It's just like a state of mind. People are just kind of too, they're pitying themselves maybe. Um, yeah, I think people just need to get out and just like take their heads out of the bus and literally just live their own life, make your own life, and you won't be thinking about whose lives matter because you'll just be so happy with your own life.